to let's calculate something. Today we're going to review a, a something that's really confusing to people, and that is I see a lot of questions about what is a function. What exactly is a function? And in order to understand what a function is, we have to understand domain range and then the definition of a function. And so what we'll do is we'll kind of go over the concept, and then we'll go over a couple of sets of points and try to determine if they would be represented by a function or not. And then I'll do three graphs with something called the vertical line test, which can also tell you if something's a function. So let's start with this little picture. If we have a set of values up here that are in the green region, we'll call it just we'll call that f of x. That's the notation for a function. And we have another set of values in the red area um, that are out there. And we want to know is there a relationship between these two? And so if we take one of these values and stick it in the f of x as x equals 2, what comes out of the function is 2x plus 1, which would be 5. If we put 5 in here, we come out with 11. And so this relationship here is, the, is a function. What we want to see is, is it a true function or is it, is it not? And so we have to define the domain and the range. And in this case, this would be the domain, and this would be the range, all right? And the domain is a set of values that are independent. They're independent of the function. They're just there. These values don't know they're getting plugged in here. But these values were plugged in and are the result of the function, so they're called the range. And that's the set of values that's dependent on the function. These are independent values. These are dependent values. And we know we have a function, if and only if, the relationship for all the values in the domain, which would be these, there is only one value, one unique value, in the range. Okay? So that's a very key point. That's why I made it in red. So only one value. So what we're going to do is look at these three sets of points, and we're going to determine whether or not it's a function. And then we're going to do some graphs and use the vertical line, line test to see if it's a function too. So this would be a good place to just pause the video and take a shot at trying to answer whether these are functions or not. And when you come back, you can see an explanation. Okay? Okay, so if you've taken a chance, let's give you the answers for these three. Um, so if we look at the first set of values, we can see that the domain, there's four different sets of values in that domain. And for those four sets of values, we do have only a unique value of y. 1, 7, 9, 8. Never repeats, and it's never generated by a point in, a, in two different ways. So we would say that this would pass the test because there is only one unique value in the range for every value in the domain. So the answer for this one would be yes. So let's go to the second one. Now in this one, we have 1, 2, 3, 0, 4, 3, 5, 6. All unique. For every one of these, there's only one. Uh, every, every part of the domain, there's only one in the range. So we would see that one as yes. Now, okay, so for the third one, what we have is we have minus 1, 4, 3, 2, and 3. So you can see we have 3 twice in the domain. That's okay, because it doesn't say that we have to have a unique value in the domain. But we can only have a unique value in, um, in we have to have a unique value in the range. So when we look here, we have 3, 2, 1, so we have a 3 and a 1 and a 3 and a 5. So for 3, when, when the function x is 3, we get two values, two different values for, for the range or y. And that's not good. That's no bueno. So we have to say that that is not a function. So the first two... They have unique values in, for every value in the domain, we have a unique value in the range. The third one, we do not, so that's not a function. Now what I'll do is I'm going to come back and I'm going to have some graphs, 
and we're going to use the vertical line test to see whether we have a function or not. And we're back. Let's look at the vertical line test with three different curves that we have, three different uh, possible functions, we'll call it. So we have x, which is defined by the green line, just like it was up here. We have y, defined by the red line, just like it was over here. And we have to do a test to see if we have, for every value of x, which is the domain, we have one value for the range, which is y. So, if we take a look here and we draw a couple of vertical lines, this is the vertical line test, we can see that for this line, for this value of x, there is only one value of y, and for this value of x, there's only one value of y here, right? So this would be a function, and that is just basically a line. Now here, we have kind of a weird shape parabola, and if we do the vertical line test, there's only one place that that crosses, right? So we would say, yes, that's a function. The vertical line test intersects in one place, and it satisfies that there's only one unique thing, one unique value. Now, if I draw a line here, for this same value of x, fix that, for this same value of x, I have two values of y. So, not a function. That's not a function. So, um, this would not satisfy the definition of a function, so therefore, it would not be a function. So, the first two do. The last one doesn't. So there's two ways you can look at things. You can look at the ordered pairs and figure it out like we did on the first part of the video. And then you can use the vertical line test um, like we did in the second part of the video. And now you understand domain, range, function, and how to decide whether you have one or not. If you learned something from the video, we'd really appreciate a comment and a like. And then if you'd like to learn more, we put up videos each week. Um, please subscribe and hit the notification bell for for future videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.